Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. I'm so freaking excited to bring you guys this makeup tutorial. I feel like I haven't done like a good old-fashioned makeup tutorial for a while on my channel. It's been a lot of reviews lately. Um, but anyway, it is summer. Summer is upon us, and I wanted to do a full freaking intense summer glam makeup look like so bronze so glowy like wet looking curly kind of messy hair kind of grungy bronze goddess you get it I don't need to be an adjective dictionary so when I think of summer I always get two very different kinds of makeup vibes one like this and then one very light coverage dewy skin warm bronze a little bit of mascara like very minimal but still like bright and colorful and youthful perfect for like the beach so I'm actually gonna be doing two different summer makeup looks uh, this is the first one for you guys here it is and then the second one that I just described again with many adjectives uh, will come soon. By the way, I wanted to mention someone that really inspired this makeup look. This is by Brooke L on Instagram. Like, oh my gosh, this girl is complete goal. She's so incredibly stunning. It's ridiculous. I saw this picture and I was like, I need to do something like that. So if you guys want to know how I got this makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so my eyes are prepped and set to go just with concealer and then this shade Tempura. So I'm going to start off with the shade Burnt Orange. I'm just going to apply this in the crease. And I'm going to be bringing this color pretty high up. And with all the colors I'm going to be using today, I'm going to flick out the excess product because I want a really dramatized, winged out look. Then I'm going to go ahead and dip into the shade Rustic. And this is just using the fluffier end of the brush that comes in the palette. And I'm going to be focusing this in the crease and in the outer V. And then I'm going to pop a little bit in the inner corner as well. Because I want to do a halo eye. And really spotlight a light gold shade. I think that would be so pretty. Because I feel like gold just pairs so perfect with browns and bronze colors. Like that's just gonna highlight the entire look and bring more life and glow to all the dramatized smokiness. So I'm gonna take some of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on this BH Cosmetics number no. nine brush. This is part of their marble collection. And I'm gonna use this to cut the crease. I'm gonna pop it right here, look up, and then it shows you where to basically draw your line and you don't have to worry about this being super neat because we're going to go over it anyway with the brown again just to blend it with the gold but you just want to have a nice base down then i'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray this is just the glam glow setting spray and i'm going to dip into this light gold shade called fairy and i'm going to pack this right in the center like i said it doesn't need to look perfect i'm taking rustic again and i'm going to run this over the edges and this is what's gonna make it look nice and blended literally a world of a difference <laughs> so for my primer I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer this is one of my all-time favorites it's super hydrating and it's tacky and I feel like it really does make my matte makeup <laughs> last longer it doesn't matter what foundation I pair with it it always looks amazing and then for my foundation we have to use a glowy foundation of course Summer. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, and this is in the shade N1-2. You're not going to get a lot of coverage with this, so if that's something you need, I would not recommend, but it does have a really beautiful, natural, healthy finish. And even though we are doing more of a full glam look today, I still want my skin to have that summer skin effect. <gasps> Alright. Well, don't do what I just did. I completely just covered this section of my eyeshadow with foundation, so don't do what I did. I'll fix that later. <sighs> I had to ruin it. This is why I can't have nice things. And I'm taking my Fit Me Concealer once again. This is in the shade Fair, and I'm going to be doing the whole highlighted effect today. Normally, I just conceal under the eyes, but I'm going to do the whole shebang. So that means the chinny chin chin stash down the nose and then a little bit on the forehead so I'm just gonna carefully blend this out try to avoid ruining my eyeshadow again 
that would be nice and then carefully down the nose i don't want to move this around too much because i want that highlighted effect to stay down the middle and then using my cover effects perfect setting powder i'm just baking in all the places that i will crease quite quite frighteningly if i don't and then I always blend out the creases before I go in and set that down because when I was brand new to makeup and I had no idea what I was doing, I just uh, set the creases in place. <clears throat> Don't do that. Because basically powder will set down whatever the current state of your makeup uh, looks like, so you want to make sure everything is blended out and creaseless. So to set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, and this is in the shade Medium Plus. I am obsessed with this powder because it still keeps your makeup looking like skin, because it has like a satin look to the powder. So now to bronze the literal crap out of my face. I kid you not, I'm going to go in with like six layers of this. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan bronzer in the shade Tantastic, and I love this bronzer. It blends itself out, I swear. It is such a beautiful neutral color. It's not overly ridiculously pigmented, but it makes it so beginner user friendly because of that formula. It's so creamy and it's literally the most beautiful, perfect, natural bronze color. You're not going to get any orangey undertones with this. It's just perfect. And you can use this for contour and bronzer. So that's what I'm going to do today. And like I said, I'm going to be here for a while. Like, a while. I'm not a super ridiculously fair person, but I'm not ultra tan for sure. So we're going to amp that up quite a bit. And I know it's looking questionable. Uh, just putting it on like this it looks a little bit alarming, but I promise you it'll all look cohesive and blended very shortly. So the main areas I focus the bronzer are obviously by the cheekbones, and then I also do it right here by my temples to create that perfect blend as it reaches up to my forehead to make it look a little bit smaller, but you don't want like an intense, super dark, you know, like stripe on your forehead. But I find that focusing a lot of bronzer on the temples as well just makes it look more natural when you have so much on your cheekbones. And then of course I'm going to bring this on the jawline, put a little bit on my ears because I don't want those to look randomly white, and down my neck. So now that I've applied half a pan of bronzer, I'm ready to move on. By the way, I always take a clean bronzing brush and just go over every part that I applied bronzer just to make sure it's all airbrushed and smooth looking. So now I'm going to take my Cover FX powder once again and carve that out. And I'm just carving underneath my cheekbone to make this more sharp looking. And I'll let that just sit for like two minutes or so. I don't know why that's so satisfying. <laughs> so now that I've wiped that bake away, I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush. This is the Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Blush Palette. I adore this palette. The color scheme is so beautiful. Today, I want to mix these two because I want a super bronzy look. So I'm going to start at the apples and then bring it back to meet up with the contour and I'm going with these colors because I don't want like a super peachy look or bright pop of coral or pink this is pretty neutral but still adding to the bronze effect and then I usually take a bronzer brush with nothing on it and just kind of sweep around the edges just to meld the blush and the bronzer together and then for highlighter I'm gonna be using one of my favorites this is Becca Opal this is a really pretty neutral highlighter so it goes with literally any makeup look and just as like with the bronzer I like to bring this up on my temples a little bit just so it's not a straight up stripe on my cheekbone and add some on my nose and on the cupid's bow and then I'm gonna add some right underneath 
the brow bone as well as my inner corner because I find that when you use the same highlighter all around your face it adds a really cohesive look and your highlighter looks more natural as opposed to using one highlighter for your face and then maybe using a shimmery color like in your eyeshadow palette for over here I mean I still do that sometimes but I will say that it does look better when you use one highlighter all over your face so moving back to the eyes I'm taking the shade of burnt orange and really smoking that under my lower lash line and bring it quite far down and then with a slightly smaller brush I'm taking rustic and applying that a little bit closer to the lash line so I've just applied some mascara as you can see this is the butter London double decker lashes mascara I love this so much and then for my lipstick I thought it would be so beautiful to pair this look with a super light nude so I'm gonna first put on the ColourPop lippy pencil this is in the shade Tootsie it's a little bit darker than the lipstick I'm gonna use I mean it's actually a lot darker but Whatever. And then I'm going to try to get through this part as fast as possible because I literally look ridiculous like this. So this is the Rimmel uh, Kate lipstick, like part of their nude collection. This is in the shade 40. I believe this is the lightest one. Oh my gosh, this lip color is so, so beautiful. If you don't like super light nudes though like this is not for you, but I like to pair this with the darker lip liner so then it looks fine. I don't know why this lip liner is looking purple to me. I don't know. Well, that's not that cute. Um, I'm going to take this off and do it in reverse order. So I'm going to apply the lipstick first and then just layer a tiny bit of the lip liner on top because that literally looks ridiculous. Not today or any day for that matter. All right, round two. Now you can really see how nude this color is. I love it though. And it's perfect for like mixing colors too. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of the lip liner and just line very lightly the outside of my lips so it's not like so washed out. And for our final step, I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. This has quickly become one of my all-time favorite setting sprays because I feel like this is MAC Fix Plus and like a long lasting setting spray in one. It's so good because it gives you a really beautiful glowy complexion that lasts all day long. I go pretty liberal with this and also smells like candy. All right, you guys, so this is the final completed makeup look. I am so obsessed with this look. This is like my go-to ultra glam makeup look. All the gold, the bronze, the nude, the glow. Like, this is just perfect for summer ultra glam. So that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already you might want to see me in any more videos I'd appreciate it so so much hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video bye